I came to know about the Halifax explosion at the family dinner table when I was a young girl. Our meal was winding down, so my brother and I started to play rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Rock, I won paper, scissors. again and again, rock, and this paper, infuriated scissors. him. He noticed that I had hidden my potato skins under my corn and snitched on me for not eating them. We had been told we had to finish everything on our plates, but I hated peelings of any kind. Nana dropped her knife and fork with a clang and told us the story of losing her family during the Halifax explosion. In the aftermath of the explosion, there was so much chaos and destruction that it took some time to determine her entire family had been killed. She was placed in an orphanage. And although it was winter, the children spent each day outside, allowed back indoors only at mealtime. A dollop of pasty porridge for breakfast, watery broth for lunch, watery broth for supper, without fail, day in, day out. Underfed and famished, the children often resorted to eating potato peels from slop buckets. Nana was one of the lucky ones. Eventually, her father's sister tracked her down and adopted her. But she has never eaten a potato skin since. Nor, coincidentally, have I. Mm-hmm. 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 